What's happening? What's that, YouTube? Hey, what up, YouTube? Um, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to mess with ROM Raider. It's a program that you use to tune your open flash uh, tunes that you get. So, uh, so you can upload them to your car and you get the nice backfires, you get them a little faster. Uh, basically have fun with your car. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I already have everything set up. I'm gonna take you guys step by step on how to do it. I'm going to show you guys two different tunes. How to mess with the launch control also because when it comes stock, it comes out a specific thing. So if you want to set it to wherever you want to set it, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. So with that being said, let's get into this. If you guys got PlayStation and you guys play Car X, Comment down below your your, your username because I'm trying to wreck people, right? I'm just playing. And we can tan them. But yeah, let's get back. Let's get into this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Once you have your um once you set up ROM Raider and Open Flash Manager, once you have everything loaded up and you've downloaded your tunes from online, close this. Close. Okay. Open file. So now I'll look for the tune you're gonna use. I'm using stage two plus, because I do have uh, unequal length headers uh, and front pipe. I'm completely catless. So using that one, open it up. This is what it's gonna look like. All right, once this thing comes up, like I said before, you're gonna open it up, bam, there it goes. So before you do any of this, um, if you want to mess with your RPMs before you do any of this at all, you're going to go to view and go to user level and put it at the highest. That way you can mess with the um, RPM levels. Once you have that set to four or the highest, like I said, you go to ignition timing advanced and you go to base timing B. If you go on the forums, I've seen people take their tunes and like start it from all the way up here all the way down i don't do that personally i go from 2000 or 2200 all the way up to like about 68 so that way you have from 6800 rpm to 2200 rpm just it'll backfire the whole way down select the one you want to do and Go to here, and you're going to put, this is the tune that mostly everybody uses. I think everybody has this tune in theirs, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. So you're gonna put negative eight, you put set, and that should change to 7.85. So now if you want to select all of them at once, you're gonna press control. Oh my God, the brightness. You're gonna press the control button and you're going to dang, click this and you can literally just drag up and drag it up to where you want to go. Like I said, maybe like 2000, you come in and this already set to negative eight. So you just set it being that they're selected um, and all of them should change at once. There you go. Now to make it stick so that it won't change or anything, you just press another one and now they're like, so now this one, you untouch that. <laughs> Don't change anything. Just mess with these right here. These, this level right here, this first line. Don't touch the, the anywhere above here, anywhere over here. I don't really mess with that either because I'm not responsible for anybody's car. That's a disclaimer. I'm putting that out right now. <laughs> before you guys do this, I should have said this in the beginning, but before you guys do it, make sure you know what you're doing. Um, follow the steps. Make sure they're right. Because if you do something wrong, and your car blows up, don't come blame it on me because I'm pretty detailed right here. So like I said, you do all that, set it to negative eight. It rounds off, which is why it's like, if you put eight, it rounds it off to 7.85. If you go to, let's say negative nine. If you go to negative nine and you change this one right here, let's look what it does. It rounds it off close to the number that you're setting it to. This is the first tune that I'm using. This is one of the tunes that I use. Um, I'm not gonna put them on my tablet. I already have them on the tablet. It's already uploaded to the car. Let's say you have all that set. 
Um, now you leave everything else alone. Oh yeah, take down these numbers if you wanna put a tune, this is one of them. Oh wait a minute, let me fix that for you guys. Negative eight all the way down. You should round it off to 7.85. Screenshot that if you want it, um, like I said. Now, once that's done, this is where you go to mess with the launch control, which is why I said go to view in the beginning. Select higher user. That way you'll be able to mess with it because if you try to do it beforehand, it's gonna tell you that you don't have no the permission for it. So once this is done, you just close this. You don't need that anymore. Go down to alpha BRZ or whatever yours says. Click it, go to launch control. And then this is where it's at stock. So in my last video, I was saying that launch control is already set at 5,500 and it's because of this. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna look at that as like, what? How does that make any sense? Like if it's at 2,000, why is it all the way at 5,500? So this is where it gets backwards. You have to think of the gauge, the RPM backwards now. So if you want your launch control like 4,000, 4,500 like mine, you would go backwards from red line and count your RPM reverse. So I would go 3,200 RPM, bam, set. So this is 3,200 from red line, count backwards. So if you want it at 4,500, it's gonna start here, which is 2,000 RPM from red line. So you would have one line, one line right here, so you one, two, one, two. And this is where it's set. So this is 2000 RPM. So if you wanted at 34, I'm like right here, you would go 3000 RPM. So it's one, two, three. Round it off to 32 RPM. I mean, 32,000. I mean, you're gonna round it off to 3200 and it'll be here if you want if you go any higher than that like 4,000 obviously it's gonna be lower and lower trust me when I tell you guys do not set it any lower than right here because I set it to about right here every time I launched it the car bogged like it, it didn't have power to do anything don't go any lower than force like I said try to keep it as high as you can uh, it's gonna be stock right here 3,200 you would set it to right here so like I said, just count the RPM backwards. It's pretty straightforward, but it's a lot of people don't understand it. Um, I didn't understand it in the beginning until I started messing with it and I figured it out, um, which is why I said I set it too low and then it screwed me over big time because I thought if you wanted it at 45, you would have to type in 45 and it wasn't like that. So it went all the way down here not being up here so i started going lower and lower and lower and i got it to where i wanted so hopefully that helped let's go back to this so like i said you set it at 32 and you'll have your rpm set at 4500 you know um once you get all of that done like let's say you want this to be finished you could even do this on the stage one tune if you wanted to you can put the rpm lower higher uh, let's say you don't have an unequal length header and um, don't have a, a full exhaust, but you just got the tablet and you're new to it. You can use this tune. If you want to, you can, and you could also set the RPM. It's going to make a difference. Um, it won't be as loud because you're not catless if you're stock, but you can use this tune for the stage one. Nobody's saying you can't. You can. Just know that your backfire is not going to be as loud. You're, you might, if anything, you're going to get like a little like a gargle, if anything. Uh, once you set all this up, um, you're gonna go here. You're gonna go to file, and you're going to save stage two as is. And it's going to be saved right here in the folder where, where you want it to be saved at, and you just name it what you wanna name it. Like I said, I'm not gonna do it because I already have. You can call it whatever you want. Um, just save it and the file will be saved in this folder. And then after that, you would go into Open Flash Manager and then upload it to the tablet. You know, straightforward, just plug in the tablet, upload the tunes. You're gonna find them in the folder, find it what you named it under, and 
just upload whatever tunes you want to be uploaded to your tablet. And then from there, just plug it into the car, follow the steps. That's the rundown on how you set the tune. The RPM, that's how you do it. Remember, like I said, you go to view, highest user, um, then you're free to mess with everything else here. Um, there's even a way, uh, once you upload with the new tunes, when they upload, when they updated them, it took away cold start. Um, there is a way to take that off that you can put your cold start back on if you wanted to. Um, but I'll save that one for another video too. If you guys want to see that, um, I can show you guys how to do that too. Now my other tune, uh, I actually got that one off of a YouTuber that I watch. His uh, YouTube name is Living Asleep HD. I'll throw a picture up in the like somewhere in the right corner, like up here somewhere or left. Yeah, I'll put it like right here because it's like none. <laughs> I'll throw it like right here. Um, I'll throw his tune up there. Had his set to negative 15. I think it was. No, it wasn't not 15. I didn't even put the negative. My bad. Negative 15. Set. I don't recommend going any higher than this. So you'd have that uh, negative 14, and then there was a this other line right here. All right, so once you drag and drop all of these two, you're gonna go to here, and right here, it's a little bit different. So this is the only tune where you're gonna mess with two of the different variables here. So you're gonna put negative six. There you go. Bam. That's what that's going to look like. I have these two lines right here. This is the second tune. The flames are a lot bigger on this tune. Like I said, uh, these are a lot bigger. You mess with uh, launch control. Is this, this one set? Yeah. Set it to 32. Uh, yeah, 32. So you have that tune and then you come in, save it also. Go to Open Flash Manager, save it in there, upload it to your tablet, and you're ready to go. Those are the two tunes that I use. Um, I know there's more out there. These are the ones that I've tried myself, and I've actually messed with them myself, too. So, like, I've tried, like, negative 9, negative 8, negative 10. I've tried so many different ones, and negative 7, negative 8, negative 14, and negative 13 are probably the best ones that, in my opinion that I've tried myself and worked. Um, but right now I'm just rocking the negative seven. Um, that's where, I don't know if you've seen all my other videos, this backfires really loud. I have to get a video from where to see outside, but this is how you use ROM Raider, mess with the launch control. These are the two tunes, like I said, you can take a screenshot of this one and move this out of the way. You can screenshot this one if you want to. Um, and yeah. That's the rundown. Uh, it's not too hard to mess with. Um, once you get into it, it's like pretty simple. So <laughs> that's the rundown on the tunes and all that other stuff. So if you want to see how to download the ROM Raider, if you want to see how to really mess with Open Flash Manager, how to upload it to your um, your tablet, if you want to see how to download it and thing, it's all posted on the website. But if you want me to show you how to do it, like I just did this, uh, step by step and all that other stuff. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Yeah, just drop it down in the comments. It's not that hard. Just be careful what you're doing. Follow the steps. Do it right. Um, when you're uploading the stuff to your tablet, uh, from your tablet, not to your tablet. When you're uploading the stuff from your tablet to your car, make sure you follow the steps as well. Do not uh, skip a step because if you mess up, like I said before in one of my videos, you're gonna break your car, like your, your ECU will fry. Um, step by step, how to do the tune. Those are the two tunes that I run. They work, you see me in my videos with the tunes. They do work, so, and my launch control, you see. Just follow the steps if that's what you wanna do. If you guys enjoyed today's video, just let me know. I'll try to see what I can do for you guys. I'll put that, I'll put it out, I'll, you know, just drop your suggestions. I'll try to see what I can do for you. Uh, man! <laughs>
yeah, don't mind that noise. That guy, man, he's been annoying me this whole time. But look, look, let me let me finish this for you guys. So drop your comments in the in the thing below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Um, yeah, just let me know what you want to see, and um, hopefully this helps. Yeah, <laughs> but have fun. Uh, upload them things. Start messing with your cars. Have some fun. Uh, catch up with you guys in the next one. All right, later.